Oh, hey, today in this Halloween tutorial, I'm going to show how to draw the Wolverine from the X-Men because check it out, that is also my Halloween costume. Snick! Take that, you Cyclops! I will stab you in the eyeballs! Do you know what happens to a toad getting struck by lightnings? Okay, so we're gonna start. Oh, I guess I already started. Uh, beforehand, um, so th there's actually not much left to do. Uh, I do really, we've got Wolverine's body here, so all I need to do is add the claws. I can do it. I can draw the claws! There's one. I will draw the claws! Ah! The claws are stuck to my hand! The cold steel on my flesh! Oh, speaking of cold, I'm supposed to go pick up my gramps pot from the igloo building workshop. How could I forget? I had it written down on my reminders board and everything. Okay, so, looks like I'm not gonna get to draw these claws today. Uh, but in the meantime, to, uh, so you have something to watch this Halloween, here's an old recording that I found on this digital video disc. Uh, never mind the, what the title says, this is just, I have so many copies of this movie that, uh, I sometimes record over them, my own footage, so, check it out, you can watch it right now. Oh, hey, happy, happy Halloween from me, your host, Freddy Cougar. I'm gonna come and scratch you with my dreamy claws. Scratch. Okay, I've already got a lot of this, uh, drawing already done for this Halloween. I, I think I must have done it sometime in the past, but I can't really remember. I, you know, I draw so many things in my artistic career, so... Man, this tablecloth is looking pretty old and worn out. I'm probably gonna have to throw this out soon. Uh, anyways, so, I'm, since I've already got some of it started, I'm gonna try out one of my new drawing techniques, uh, in which I begin with the torso ball, like in the center, and I kind of work my way out to join up with the other parts of the body. Don't forget the shoulder blades! Yeah, this is looking pretty scary. I wouldn't want to be living on Helm Street anytime soon. You know, actually it probably wouldn't matter for me because I, I don't really dream as much as I used to, you know. I used to have a lot of weird dreams about stuff, but, you know, my grandpa kind of put a stop to that. He, uh, oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to pick up my grandpa from the quilting store. See, I, I even had it written down on my remindings board. Okay, I gotta go pick up my grandpa. But in the meantime, to tide you over the viewing audience this Halloween, I, uh, I found this old video iPod. It's probably got like some cool videos on there. I haven't really checked it yet, but uh, maybe you can find out for yourself. Oh, hey everybody. A uh, happy Halloween. My Halloween costume this year may be hard to recognize. Uh, I'm actually dressed as the Catwoman. Um, you know, I know her claws are typically not portrayed as being this long in the, in the comics, but this is a uh, you know, I, I heard that Christopher Nolan is going to put Catwoman in the next uh, Batman movie, so maybe maybe in that one they'll give her really long claws like this. Because, you know, lots of people like claws, I think. I know, I know I do. Okay, so, I don't know, I don't remember drawing this, but I have already started the Catwoman drawing, it seems. So I'm going to use my new uh, drawing technique, where I start with the handballs and the armballs, and I work my way into the center of Catwoman's sexy cat body. Meow. Yeah, another reason why I wanted to uh, do an homage to Catwoman this Halloween is because it is in memory of my, my lost kitty cat. I don't know where she went, but uh, one day my grandpa took her outside and, uh, oh, that reminds me. I was supposed to pick up my gramps paw from choir practice. See, he, he even wrote it on the reminding board. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pick up my gramps paw when I get back. 
I will definitely finish this drawing. And I'll draw Catwoman's cat titties. But in the meantime, uh, to tide over the viewing audience, I found this old USB drive stick. And so you, I think it has an old video on there. I haven't checked it myself, but maybe you can watch it right now. Oh, hey, everybody. Happy Halloween. It is me, Edmund Scissoring Hands. So snip it is snip, Winona Ryder. This Halloween, I'm gonna show you how to draw my new favorite character, Edmund Scissorman. Uh, I, I like this g character because he, his scissors kind of look like claws, and I don't know, I, for some reason, I'm really, I kind of like claws, so, uh, one thing with this costume, you gotta be careful that you don't accidentally cut your fingers, you know. Safety first! Okay, I already have the feet on this page, so I will not, I will not waste this uh, already begun artwork. I don't, I don't actually remember doing this, but it's here, so I'm gonna use my new method of drawings, which is to start with the head and work our way down to the feet. Another thing that I like about Edmund Scissorman is that he like uses his scissors to do chores like trimming hedges and stuff. Yeah, I wish I could do that because my grandpa is always making me trim the hedges. Oh shit, my grandpa! I was supposed to pick him up from the horse stables. See, he even wrote it on the remindings board. I will uh, complete this artwork when I get back, but uh, in the meantime, you can watch this old recording I found. I haven't watched it yet, but it's an old VHS tape from uh, a few Halloweens ago. So uh, just check that out now. Oh, yeah, we got a nice blank page here. There is nothing quite like a blank canvas for an artist such as myself. To, to create any kind of artistic masterpiece that they desire. Uh, anyways, this is, I'm gonna show how to draw a, the Wolverine from the X-Men. Uh, but first, check out my Halloween costume. Snicked! Take that, Magneto! You cannot control me with your magnets! I will cut you up with my claws. Okay, the first step I'm gonna do to draw Wolverine is a new technique. I'm trying where I will start with his feet and work my way up the body. Remember, you gotta draw these, these uh, lines because it shows the depth of the feet. Otherwise, they will look too flat on the paper. Man, my Wolverine claws are looking real nice. I don't know why I like claws so much. It could have something to do with this recurring dream that I've been having where every night I just it's just me in a dark room surrounded by claws. The claws are all pointed at me, scratching at my face, poking at my eyeballs. Scratching at my soul. Ah! But that's just a dream, you know. Dreams, dreams are just a bunch of bullshit. That's that's what my grandpa always says. He, oh no, my grandpa! I was supposed to pick him up from the beach today. Look, he even wrote it on the reminders board. Oh, okay. We've got our Wolverine picture started. So after I go pick up my grandpa from the beach, I will finish it. I do not like to leave an unfinished project unfinished for too long. I also better leave these here because I don't want to bring them to the beach. You know, I don't want to end up with sanded claws.